Even the smallest gestures make a difference in our performances. So what if we slip up? Remember figure A and figure B? To summarize, A asks B out to lunch. B doesn't want to go, so B lies and says they're not hungry. At the same moment, B's stomach makes a noise. B's performance has been disrupted. Let's break it down Goffman style. B doesn't want this conversation to extend into lunch and wants to decline figure A's offer without offending figure A. So B says, eh, I'm not hungry, maybe some other time. Unfortunately, B's performance is betrayed by B's own bodily functions. Goffman calls these interruptions unmeant gestures. These seemingly small moments can have a disastrous effect on an entire performance. Now let's think about unmeant gestures in the context of Brendan's story. So the other night I was out with some friends and uh, you know I hadn't seen him for a while but one of my friends just was constantly looking at her phone like checking her status update or something. We haven't seen each other for a while and we're trying to catch up so are you here for me or, or what's the deal? I don't get that. So Brendan wants to know what the deal is with his friend's behavior. Why does she keep texting? Would she rather be somewhere else? Brendan is noticeably angry. Why are they even friends if she would rather be on her phone? Brendan's friend has sabotaged her performance with an unmeant gesture. The compulsion to look down at her phone is just as damning as figure B's stomach noises. It doesn't really matter what Brendan's friend is doing on the phone. She could be talking someone through a surgery or making an important trade for her fantasy football team. Unless she explains this to Brendan, all he sees is her lack of interest in what he's been up to lately. Goffman wrote that when we interpret someone's performance, we expect it to be unique and personal. This expectation goes double for friends. Brendan meets up with his friend. This is the given. The given signals that she wants to hang out with him. Her unmeant gesture is the given off, which in this case is contradictory to the given. You could argue that we don't know the friend's intentions. She could be using this unmeant gesture in order to break off her friendship with Brendan. Brendan might even call her out on it. It's not like she's a stranger on the metro. They're friends, so Brendan shouldn't feel like he has to politely ignore his friend's behavior. <laughs> 